Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Dan and Don's Fans Q&A, where you send us the questions, and if we want, we'll give you an answer. Otherwise, we just throw it away. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Toxic Masculinity with my co-host, Don the Predator Fry, and yours truly, Dan the Beast Ever here. We are here to entertain, enlighten, offend, defend anyone and everyone. So put on your man pants and grab a cup of coffee or a beverage of your liking and get ready to be infused with a little toxic masculinity. Uh, Mr. Fry. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll share this question here with you because this is a, I mean, even though it was asked to me, it, it, it pertains to, I think, basically any kind of an athlete that has uh, competed. The question is from a, uh, I, I asked me, he said I could so say. So any kind of an athlete that, you know, that includes me? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, 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 no. I said this this question pertains to, it's not like it was like just to dear Don or like the, the dear Dan or whatever. I mean, this pertains to basically any, any athlete. And it's the question is from Mark Frederick Jr. And uh, the question is, when you lost your motivation, again, this is, this is if you ever lost your motivation in the first place. Service many times, many times. When you when you lost your motivation to train for a fight, how did you get your motivation back? So again, that that was actually the question was, was like you know how to it, it, whether that is for a fight, but it, still even in life, I mean, there's some people, times that you might lose a job or something like this. You can lose you lose lose your motivation, and how does one get their motivation back? Because I. This question, this this question pertains to the United States right now. Yeah. yeah. As far as I'm concerned, when I, when I think about this, I think it's kind of like going, how do we get America back to where it's uh, it's it's actually America once again? And right. People are taking pride in uh, what the, what they're doing, and uh, you know, not letting our government sim- simply send off checks to people who want to stay at home and uh, do nothing with their life. I mean, I've, I've never heard of the word free before. Nothing in this world is free. Well, I hate and, the word free. I hate the word free. I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. And uh, I don't don't have any faith in it, you know, because like you said, there is no, no such thing as free. Yeah, there, there's usually an alternative motive. For, there's always for chains, that. always chain or a rope attached to it. You, you yeah. Know? All right, so anyway, again, we'll, we'll, we'll put this one as it pertains to motivation to train for competition. You're, you've got your ultimate funny championship matches that are coming up here. You've got a pride fight that's coming up. Have you ever lost your motivation to, to train? And how did you get your motivation back again? Fear. Fear of failure. Fear of failure. Fear of failure. That's, how, that, that's, that's what motivated you? Mm-hmm. Yep, I did not want to lose, and um, I did not want to fail the fans, because you know, you lose, you, you you fail not only yourself, but you fail your family, you fail your your trainer, you fail your sparring partners, and you fail your fans. You know. Now, do you all right? Do you think a lot of people can actually understand and relate to that, those comments there? Not right now, like you said, not in America, no, because yeah, um, okay, that's what that's why, that's why I that's why President I like it. Trump, President Trump said, you know, we're gonna win so much you'll get sick of winning. Well, apparently, um, the Democrats took that to heart and um, that they, they went the complete opposite direction and uh, the. They are, they enjoy losing. Yeah, no, but again, I'm, I'm glad the way that uh, we're, we're playing like this yin yang type of uh, scenario here right now because it is uh, it's a sad state of affair. It, it, it uh, I will agree with you. In fact, that uh, what's going to motivate you if if you're you don't want to go out there and perform a lackluster appearance. I mean, I. I there's some I, I, irony for me to say this because, as I've, I've said before, in my career, I only ever did a couple true training camps where literally I left my family and, you know, for that 30 or 35 days, I basically ate and slept 
a trade. That's all I did for those those 30, 35 right. days. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll say that uh, I had a good group of uh, uh, competitors that were traded at my trading facility, and I always liked it, even though I was the head instructor uh, leading leading the, the practices, I always loved it when there was an odd number because if there's an odd number, it means I get to participate. And when I would run these uh, training sessions, they would be very hard, cardiovascularly led. And uh, basically I only had a couple of rules. Your bathroom's over there, uh, the drinking fountain's over there. If you puke on my mat, you clean it up. I don't don't, feel, don't mix the two little, up. Is that what <laughs> drinking fountain and bathroom? Don't mix the two up. Well, well, I don't know. There's some of them I think they might have been drinking out of the toilet at different <laughs> times, but uh, <laughs> you know, as long as you so. But but no, it's uh, I, I ran a very uh, heavily cardio based type of a, a workout because I seem to know that cardiovascular is the foundation. You can have all the skill sets in the world but if you if you run out of st steam in, in that match you're a city duck at that point in time so. well like, like uh coach vince lombardi said you know fatigue makes cowards of us all yeah right I, well is he is he the one that, that came up with that quote in the first place yeah vince lombardi of the green bay packers you remember well again i, I know who vince lombardi is but i, I didn't yeah. know that that was his, fatigue his fatigue there. makes cowards of us all yeah, I, I I know I've used that quote a number of, of occasions because it, it is it's a truthful statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very truthful statement. So that that's uh, one of the things that uh, I always took took to heart. So, but uh, so huh. we we hit. A, you want me to write that right, down guys. for you, Dan? Well, while we're on the subject of fighting, we had we do have a question I'd like to throw out there. It's for both of you. Who the Go fuck there, gave guys. you a line, huh? Well, we are supposed to do some yeah. some fan Q and A here. We want to answer Jeez. the fans' questions, right? Yes, exactly. You shoot away there, Brandon. So this is from Mister Two Scroll, and he wants to know if you guys Two ever miss fighting. Of course. I think I mean yeah I mean I I, I just Don, Don just said just as a matter of fact I mean competition you got to realize I mean you know Don's had a, a lifetime of competition I've had a lifetime of competition from the amateur wrestling days to uh, you, know, you did you did different sports in high school I love I love high school football I played the wrestling I was in track and field and then you know I'm into college wrestling mm -hmm. again freestyle folk style mm -hmm. wrestling freestyle wrestling uh Don was involved in judo I was involved in judo uh, as mm -hmm. well so uh you know different types of aspect life is competition we want you know you're supposed to compete for the best jobs you're supposed to compete for the best significant other right at least if at least if you're a real American you are right be for that best piece yeah you know, you, otherwise you get to settle for the one on the end. Ugh, you know, the one that's left at, at two o'clock in the morning and nobody, nobody talked to until five minutes ago. Yeah, there's a, I'll say there's a, an awful lot of settling that's taking place in our country where people are just settling for media, media, mediocre, you know, it's, or it's less than it's, mediocre. It's, it's, it's <laughs> tolerable. It's kind of like, you know, might as well be eating that, uh, swallowing that booger on, on that shell, right? Right, right. Well, that so, kind of leads me into another yeah. question we have here from Maurice Clemens. Come here. He would like to know who's the hottest celebrity chicks you ever met in person. Come here. Both of you guys. This is for both of you. Hottest celebrity chicks. I, I tell you, I'm gonna say Stephanie McMahon. You know, I thought she was phenomenal. Dan, you? No, I, 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 I met I, Stephanie I, before. I, but, I, uh, met her, I only met her once. How many times did you meet her? Probably a couple of different times. I mean, between you know uh, Triple H, uh, you know the the, the big bands. Uh, I mean, big bands, but uh, the big bands. <laughs> yeah. 
no one else is going to understand that little faux pas there down. But uh, yeah. but you know, that'd be it was. Uh, you didn't think she was spectacular looking. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe she just had had a special dress when she met you there. <laughs> I thought she yeah. was spectacular. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I've had you know again maybe it's just just uh, being involved in athletics. Uh, I mean, you you look at you go to all these different fight shows. You, you there's uh, all kinds of beautiful women that are around. I mean, could you look at just the ring card girls? They're not like uh, they're, they're not pulling out the. Uh, the, the Bowsers, by any means, no. and the, the, those are usually good-looking women that uh, you know some will may not hold that card up uh, upside down or something like that. But uh, at the same token, people aren't going to be complaining about it though either. Those were the early days of the UFC that they had. Those. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's uh, there, there's been lots of great. Uh, great people uh, make, but uh, you know, beautiful women or women that are in power positions that, uh, you know, you respect them for, you either respect them or, I mean, they're, they're eye candy, one or the other. And there's, uh, there's still women that, uh, you know, we live in a world more and more where women are carving out their own little niches that were men are their, are men are their arm candy now. So. Okay, Dan, don't dodge the question. Let's give us a name now. Oh, I did give you a name. Oh, what the hell? Uh, nope, you sure didn't. No, I did. I, I, I did not. Did I? <laughs> well, because I can't. I really can't come up with one off the top of my head that uh, that I was so stunned at the time that uh, I met them. But at the same token, I probably met some really uh, attractive uh, movie stars and things of that nature. But no one that just simply just comes to my mind right up here. I mean, there was. Uh, don't say, don't say, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, at least the one thing I, I like about Bruce is this. He at least will make the comment that even though he is no longer Bruce Jenner, he's Caitlyn Jenner, but he agrees that women, or I should say men that are now women, should not be allowed to participate in female sports. He yeah. at least supports that. So you can't. You oh yeah, he got a gold medal. He got a gold medal as a man. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, exactly. But but at least yeah, at least he supports the fact that it go, it go it's not fair. I mean, if, if you were once a, a man and now you're gonna jump into women's sports, whether it be you know women's MMA and you were once a man, or if you're gonna jump into uh women's uh powerlifting or something like this, and you were once a man, it's kind of going, you know, it's it's ridiculous. Right. It, to me, it's like just go start another organization where it's the uh, the Rainbow Coalition, uh, you know, powerlifting meet, but now it's for all. Trans Olympics. Of, <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. So, Trans nationals. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, sure, I'm sure some people would like to tune in to watch a couple of those, uh, those uh, athletic events. They might be some different, some really strange uh Figure skating or whatever else. They have. I don't know. What wow. I mean, yeah. Well, getting, getting, getting back to always, getting back to attractive women. I I have a question here specifically for Dan. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh. It, it, it involves attra an attractive woman. Do go on now. Do go on. This is from uh, Nunya Business, <laughs> and uh, he claims like it's not going to go well already. He claims that he met you, Dan, in Fayetteville, North Carolina, at Secrets Cabaret on Bragg Boulevard. Uh -oh. Just wanted to hear your well, thoughts on that. It's no longer it's no longer a secret here now, <laughs> and, and it's from from, from Chubba by well, uh, I bet was he was he working for Dan <laughs> one dollar at a time? <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the things I'll, I'll say that uh, you know, kind of one of the little perks here, I've, I've actually been invited to do uh, several different appearances at uh, gentlemen's establishments. And they were, it was a simply entitled Come and uh, Meet Beauty and the Beast. So I don't, I don't, I don't think old uh, Walt did, Disney would be too happy about uh, did you come how up that with was that kind one? of utilized. But uh, it, it, it worked out for me just fine. It worked out for me just fine. As Mr. Fry just kind of, he said, I mean, probably a good thing to just chew it on whatever you're chewing on mm -hmm. right now, huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How about you, yeah. Don? Did you did you do any appearances at any uh, gentlemen's clubs? No, I don't believe so. 
not 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 paid appearances. No, no. <laughs> I paid to go to several. <laughs> Well, so, my, uh, my, my, my little grass, my little grasshopper. I must, I must, I must show you the way. Yes, you must. Yeah. <laughs> how, to, how to get paid to go to the uh, the, the Trans Olympic? Uh, uh, well, hob, no, 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 hob no, 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 farm, that's hob too, farm. That's uh, different nature now. It's different nature now. <laughs> the Meow Bush Club. <laughs> if you got the the trans gymnastic mix. Trans uh, uh, gymnastics team. That's going to be uh, just a. I don't. Want, I don't know if I want to see that in the tutu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching another episode of Dan and Don's Fans Q and A. You better like, subscribe, and share, or I'm going to come to your house.